so good afternoon dear friends uh today uh, in this particular session we will learn why creativity is essential for managing emotions and ego at workplace creativity you see is very essential for solving complex problems especially in our fast paced world it is contagious and inspirational encouraging teamwork and collaboration creativity gets employees motivated as they get ownership over their roles creative workplaces are more likely to attract and retain the employees so expressive arts bridge the gap between the conscious and unconscious mind so when we put our mental process into a physical form we feel more in control of our thoughts and feelings and we understand them more clearly so trying new creative activities is particularly good for our emotions and well being feelings as you know are wonderful things we are glad we have them isn't it can you imagine a world where feelings did not uh, did not exist it would be pretty bland that is uh, lacking flavor or you see tasteless or flat there are however feelings that we enjoy more feelings that we enjoy less and feelings that we don't like at all so there are feelings that serve us in some situations but don't serve us in other situation so creativity is in demand and innovation you see happens when people are curious and creative so in this session we will learn first of all uh, you see uh, what is creativity the creative process and then the techniques of developing creative climate in the organization so that all of us can manage our emotions we can express our feelings in a very uh, you see positive way so uh, let me uh, share my ppt so let us have a look at industrial and market uh, scenario okay uh, you see because globalization liberalization technological developments and emergence of knowledge economy have created challenges to you, you uh, to uh, technical institutes so in order to meet these challenges changes have to be introduced in various components of technical system uh, now coming to the market and industrial scenario as i told you that uh, because of glo globalization and liberalization enormous changes have taken place in our industry and market Uh, scenario the technology is changing very fast there is lot of competition between the companies and, and uh, even a uh, lot of competition are in our technical institutions also and uh, as you know that uh, high quality products are uh, you see available at very uh, less rates and market has turned into a buyer market isn't it many models of products are available and customer has the choice to you see choose an appropriate one and there are many organizations many uh, industries which are offering freebies gifts discounts and as you know that because of uh, you see easy finance many people are able to afford many things okay new and improved products are entering into the market at a very fast rate lead times is becoming smaller product life cycle also becoming very small and uh, you see the products prices are set in the market prices of input resources going up at the same time bigger companies are dis, uh, demanding a price cut from its suppliers every year and small volumes of each type to be supplied and there is an exponential growth in service sector also so the word is now different earlier 
there were telecommunication audio tapes video tapes simulation email web projects problem solving multimedia and cnc you know now we have mobile access laptops are in one is to one ratio there is gis gps system instant messaging with wikis blogs muvs cell phones virtual reality artificial intelligence uh, ar internet of things robotics now we have to see whether we are ready or not so it means we need to innovate if we don't innovate it means better is to die okay so innovation plays a very important role so creativity and innovation let me give you first uh, one small example of the elevant uh, elevator problem uh, you see employees have complained that the elevator is too slow they sometimes wait 5 to 7 minutes for it they now demand that the institute should do something about this problem now this problem was put before a number of uh, curious uh, you see creators uh, they have suggested number of uh, alternatives one uh, alternative was that uh, you can install a second elevator and uh, the organization uh, will cost about 30 lakhs uh the second one is that uh, you need to recondition the existing one okay and cost would be rupees 9.5 lakhs and there is very wonderful um, suggestion and that suggestion is that you can install a mirror a mirror near elevator so it would cost only rupees 10000 are uh, now installing a mirror uh, will you see provide uh, some time to the uh, uh, user of the uh, you see elevator they can see themselves okay to itne mein wo time jo hai wo jo hai wo jo waiting time hai wo pata nahi chalta ki kab khatam ho gaya so uh, th this is a very wonderful or you can say uh, innovative uh, you see so now let me uh, give you another exercise this is the nine dots exercise now uh, can you try this uh, what you can do is you put nine dots uh, on a piece of paper now you have to draw four straight lines you will use only four straight lines without retracing and lifting the pen or pencil from the paper now uh, please uh, 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 try let us see whether you are able to uh, join all the nine dots by using only four lines without lifting the pencil okay so uh, you can show this one uh, 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 here yes have you tried have you tried it i'm again showing nine dots use four straight lines join all the nine dots without retracing without lifting your pen or pencil from the paper yes yes show me हाँ जी अनुपमा बेनु हरप्रीत हरविंदर जगदीप सिंह जतिन कपिल इंदुमति कृष्ण लाल यस ओके देन it means uh, you are not able to join uh, nine dots so let me uh, you see uh, show this one how you can join just see you can start from here that is uh, you will go beyond the boundary this is one line this is uh, you see uh, uh, <coughs> 
सॉरी यस यू कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हेयर वन टू थ्री एंड फोर दिस इज हाउ यू कैन ज्वाइन ऑल दीज नाइन डॉट्स विथ फोर यू सी स्ट्रेट लाइन्स विदाउट लिफ्टिंग योर पेन विदाउट रिट्रेसिंग सो इट मीन्स दोज हु आर एबल टू डू दिस इट मीन्स दे आर थिंकिंग आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स दे आर थिंकिंग आउट ऑफ द बाउंड्री सो यू हैव टू कंसिडर दैट so what is creativity is that creativity is the process of bringing new idea into being i think uh, all of you are quite familiar with the the bloom's taxonomy so when bloom identified what he called the taxonomy of the cognitive domain he ranked synthesis and now in uh, in his uh, new uh, you see taxonomy he has given the name creativity as one of the most difficult skills to master because a person has to use all of the other cognitive skills in the creative process so since according to bloom creating is the highest order of thinking so it should be in the forefront of all learning environments and it should be an end goal so when students create what they imagine they are in the driver seat and cre uh, creativity refers to production of a totally new or partially novel identity it is the capacity of a person to produce compositions or you can say products or ideas which are essentially new or novel and previously not known to the producer this definition was given by drevdal it's a way of thinking it's way of doing that brings unexpected and original ideas to fruition uh now this definition will provide you the complete process of creativity it is a process of becoming sensitive to problem it means the first requirement of a creative person is that he or she should be sensitive to problems he should be aware he should sense that there exist a problem only then he will try to uh, find a solution for that particular problem so process of becoming sensitive to problems deficiencies or gaps in knowledge missing elements disharmonies then identifying the difficulty searching for solution making guesses not only one guess number of guesses formulating hypotheses about deficiency testing and retesting those hypotheses and possibly modify and retesting them and finally uh, deciding the optimal solution communicating that result to the others so it is the ability to discover new solutions to problems or to produce new ideas inventions or works of the art it's a special form of thinking i would say a view a, a way of viewing the world and interacting with it in a manner different from that of the general population uh creativity versus creative thinking creativity means the ability to make something new this might be a picture or a piece of music a new idea whereas creative thinking is the ability to think differently to see a problem or issue from a new angle or from new perspective so this is the difference now the difference uh, the 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 innovation the uh, you, you see creativity is producing idea innovation is putting that idea into use that is innovation that is the ability to apply creative solution to problem and opportunities to enhance or to enrich people's lives it's a process of taking new ideas to satisfy customer conversion of new knowledge into new products so creativity is thinking new things that is uh, 
bringing something new into being and innovation is doing new things maine simple words mein bola creativity is producing a new idea it may be a partially new also and innovation is putting that idea into use okay that is innovation so without innovation you will not see new products in the market new services new ways of doing business and definitely number of organization would be forever stuck doing the same old thing the same old way so creativity is generation of a new idea whereas innovation is translation of that new idea into a new product service or method of production creativity is bringing something new into being whereas uh, innovation is bringing something new into use just look at here creative thinking invention lot of ideas okay now ideas are put into use and we are getting new products new processes which are entering the real world so the best way to have a good idea is to have lots of them always think of number of say i, I, I let me give you one, uh, one uh, example can you think of the unusual users of bricks of course the usual use of brick is for construction of a house or a building now unusual users if you are able to give number of unusual users in one go without thinking much that is called as your fluency okay say one can say that we can use it as a uh, for a paper weight as a door closer okay or uh, you see aapne dekhna hai aapki height kam hai okay aapne do inte rakhe bricks rakhe aap dekhna chahte hai dusri taraf kya ho raha hai okay or you can put uh, you can make chula you can make a gamla with the help of uh, bricks you can make a stool with the help aapne dekha hoga pehle bahut पहले की बात है बच्चे क्रिकेट खेलते थे दे यूज टू प्रिपेयर विकेट्स विद दी हेल्प ऑफ से फोर टू फाइव ब्रिक्स सो नंबर ऑफ वन मिनट असाइनमेंट टेक आउट पेपर एंड ए पेंसिल लिस्ट एज मेनी यूजर्स एज यू कैन फॉर ए पेपर कप कैन यू थिंक ऑफ द यूजर्स ऑफ पेपर ऑफ कोर्स इट कैन इट इज यूज फॉर ड्रिंकिंग यू सी पोरिंग मिल्क और टी और वॉटर this is the uh, uh, the use but uh, can you think of the other uses okay yani aapko malum hai jugaad technology improvisation karna that is creativity jo cheez aapke paas available hai usi se aapne problem ko solve kiya so fluency mein kya hota hai you are you are coming out with ideas based upon the original concept or ideas can be generated by logic now what is flexibility say different idea idea is not based on the original concept or application ideas are identified by analogy so you are using it for making a candle so now let us have a look at the uh, dimensions of uh, uh, creativity uh firstly you need to be sensitive to the gaps anomalies contradictions paradoxes so which represent opportunities for creative problems this is the first dimension that you be, you become sensitive to problems or you can say deficiencies then the capacity to generate number of ideas along the same line of thought that is fluency flexibility means that different that is the ability to develop diverse possibilities or ideas across different lines of thought theek hai then originality seeing potential solution or ideas that other people do not even consider or arrive at and imagination that is visualizing something that is not yet apparent or real to the senses so creativity involves both divergent thinking and convergent thinking 
so divergent thing of option and ideas that is making a list and the uh, convergent thinking that is lot of ideas are converged into one so judging assessing options focusing and then finally making decision here generating lot of options so these are two mutually exclusive i would say mental activities so creativity friends is not just for artist writers or painters i think it is an attitude it is way of solving problem that applies across domains that is all domains from engineering to biology to business and so on it is necessarily a result or you can say sign of mental illness banda kehta hai ye pagal hai wo pagal nahi hai he is creative while there may be connections between creativity in individual with certain disorders be aware anecdotal stories of ear slicing artist and hot headed scientist creativity is not a fixed trait that only some people possess okay that is uh, creativity is not that uh, only some uh, you see Uh, it, it is not the gift given to only some fortunate persons by the almighty god it can be acquired by anybody who understand the creative process who understand the characteristics of a creative person and the creative process you see is the result of a dialogue between the conscious and unconscious minds that is when ego relaxes its hold over it so a creative person learns to get to know things around him through the judicious use of perception and judgment now from this discussion we can draw the characteristics of creativity creativity is universal that is uh, it is not confined to any individual or group of individuals it is not confined to any caste color it is not bound by the barriers of age location culture it has got a wider scope it means every one of us possesses creativity every one of us is capable of demonstrating creativity to some extent creativity is innate as well as acquired although research finding says it's a god given gift but at the same time the influence of cultural background experience education training in nurturing of creativity cannot be ruled out creativity helps us to produce something new or novel it is adventurous involves open thinking it is you see a departure from the stereotyped rigid or closed thinking it encourages demand it encourages or demands multiplicity of responses choices line of action a uh, creativity involves ego that is there is complete involvement of one's ego in the creativity or creative expression the creator takes pride in his creation and makes ego involved statement like you see it is my creation i have solved this problem it is my idea etc it has a wider scope that is covers all fields all activities of human life not restricted to only scientific invention it can be in, in any field friends creativity is a source of happiness and reward in itself that is it is 
a means and ends in itself. Creativity and intelligence do not necessarily go hand in hand. You cannot say that a person who is creative is all will also be intelligent or intelligent persons or creative persons. And creativity rest more on divergent thinking. Okay, you have to think out of box. I have shown you two types of thinking, convergent thinking, divergent thinking. So um, uh, basically creativity, uh, you see, involves divergent thinking. So uh, creativity uh, is both exciting and dangerous. If your straightforward route does not fetch you desired result, then try zigzagging. That is creating some bypass route. And let me tell you friends, occasional daydreaming, fantasizing, and play acting can give birth to and further help concretize idea. Do not be apologetic about doing crazy things once in a while. For example, uh, like a bubble a blowing uh, soap bubbles in the air or dancing in the rain or having a laughing competition so it may result to something new now let us have a look at the qualities of a creative person now you see a creative person is curious Creative people enjoy learning new things. So you see, you will find that their free time, uh, you see, is spent on reading books or watching videos about topics they find interesting. They often find it exciting or satisfying to take on the task of understanding concepts with which they do not already have familiarity. So creative people may seek opportunities to learn new skills for personal reasons or to perform better. So they bring the curiosity to their work often by asking questions. For example, a creative person might try to create innovative product ideas by asking why, why? If someone tells them they cannot do something, they ask, why not? And some may start a discussion by asking, what if? So these questions will help to create discussion around an idea and allow for experimentation. Second is that creative people are willing to play with various ideas until they find the right one. So the sense of playfulness means that they have fun with this process rather than taking it too seriously. You see, sometimes the best ideas can develop through accidents or unintentionally. Creative person has open mind. So an open-minded person is willing to hear he or she is willing to try new ideas so when collaborating with others creative people want to hear all the possibilities and explore them further so because of their open mindedness they do not judge others ideas or perspectives instead they take the time to listen to others so they can better understand them so they are open to you see new experiences so they enjoy trying various ways of performing the task a creative person is flexible so similar to you see open mindedness creative people have a strong sense of flexibility so that this time this type of trait uh, supports their willingness to try new ideas and experiences. So people with a strong sense of flexibility, 
feel more comfortable adapting to change then a creative person is more sensitive they tend to be sensitive this sensitivity can help them in many areas of life both personally and professionally you see sensitive people tend to appear more approachable to others isn't it and willing to listen to their thoughts or feelings so through caring about how others feel they have an easier time building strong and trusting relationship a creative person is an independent so working independently allows creative people to embrace their personal freedom they can make their own decisions on how to do things without any instruction from others or without any demand from others so this independent nature means creative people feel comfortable taking on challenges themselves so with their freedom they can take as long as they need to understand the task and how to complete it they are willing to take on the risk associated with trying new ideas they do not know if a concept is a bad one until it is tested or examined so all ideas pose the potential for solution and if one fails it can serve as a lesson on how to do better in the future so to them not taking risk hinders innovation because it requires staying within one's comfort zone a creative person is intuitive that is uh, he or she makes decisions based upon feelings they trust in themselves they believe in themselves to follow their hearts rather than feeling restricted by more logical demands they are more thorough they put a lot of thought and care into their work they usually look at an issue from all possible angles as they seek solution then they test the test all the possible solutions until they find one that best meets their needs a creative person is highly ambitious they often have an awareness of how much effort goes into their work they understand that the perfect solution does not always come easily so they must put in the work toward achieving it so when creative people have a passion for something they will visualize their goals they will commit themselves to attain them and uh, you see these goals can vary whether they include completing a task or practicing an activity until they become skilled at it they are objective they feel passionate about what they do but they also understand the need to remain objective and creative person is highly energetic but this doesn't mean that they appear hyperactive rather they put a lot of energy into their work they often feel passionate about task and show their enthusiasm when performing them so when creative people put their full energy in a, uh, into something it can lead them to focus on it for hours until they complete it so these are the qualities of a creative person so as i told you that it is not just for artists writers painters necessarily a result or sign of mental illness it is not a fixed trait that only some people possesses it is not the same as intelligent quotient and uh, it is beyond measurement so need of the r is not only knowledge but conversion of knowledge into application and innovation happens when people are curious and when people are you see creative and as i told you uh, uh, in the very uh, beginning that 
creativity is in demand and innovations happens when people are curious and creative now knowing content is not sufficient in itself rather they must apply knowledge to construct new understanding solve problem make decisions develop products new products maybe develop modified product communicate and technology can facilitate this type of learning albert einstein once said that the person has two minds the intuitive mind and the rational mind the intuitive mind is a sacred gift and the rational mind is a faithful servant so we have created a society that honors the servant and has forgotten the gift now let us uh, study the process of creativity uh, as i told you that uh, uh, creativity begins with sensing the problem so the individual you see selects a problem to work on or more likely becomes aware that a problem or some disturbance exists this is the first stage then the second stage is preparation or immersion now during this stage the individual concentrates on the problem and becomes immersed in it recalling and collecting information that seems relevant and then dreaming up hypotheses without evaluation so that is problem at this stage is defined it is analyzed and then the stage is set for its solution the third stage is incubation or gestation that is during this stage the unconscious is given freedom to act upon the material that the conscious has presented so the individual is not con uh, consciously you see thinking about the problem he relaxes he lets his subconscious mull over the material so the individual often appears to be idle or indulges in uh, you see some kind of daydreaming or one may rest one may sleep or engage in some other interesting activity but at the same time his or her subconscious is in fact trying to arrange the facts into a new pattern i think uh, you remember uh, the archimedes principle you see archimedes found the solution of his problem and uh, all of you know that when he was in his bath tub okay then next stage is illumination or insight now during this stage the individual realizes a possible way to solve the problem and friends such kind of uh, illumination may occur at any time sometimes even while the individual is eating walking falling asleep or dreaming so the new insights may last for only a few seconds so raat ko sote hote aapko kabhi koi aata hai ki bhai ye iska solution hai agar aap usko usi samay likhte nahi na to subah uth ke aapko yaad nahi rehta so such inspiration must be recorded quickly because the conscious mind may forget them in the course of other activities so effective person may benefit from having paper and pencil ready to make notes of their creative ideas so there is a you see flash of illumination leading to a uh, you see shout of eureka yes i have done this one okay then comes the last stage that is verification and application so this is the last stage in the creative process that is logical formulation and verification that is the insight needs to be tested through some logic or you see 
some experimentation in case the idea doesn't work out you can make fresh attempts to solve the problem so during this stage the creative person proceeds to verify solutions by applying one's power of judgment by thinking and feeling so this is the uh, process of creativity now before we uh, proceed to how to nurture creativity or how to you see uh, uh, you see uh, that uh, develop creative climate in the organization let us have a look at certain barriers uh, to creativity uh, one is that searching for the one right answer many people and many teachers teach that there is only one right answer to a problem i think this is a bane to creativity since it acts as a block to brainstorming so think about number of solution whether the solution is a stupid one you see sometimes a stupid solution can solve the problem focusing on being logical you see being logical is valuable when evaluating ideas implementing them but focusing too much effort on being logical in the early imaginative phase would discourage the use of intuition then blindly following the rules many times creativity depends upon our ability to break existing rules so we can find new ways of doing things becoming overly specialized that is uh, defining a problem as one area of specialty that would limit the ability to see how it might be related to other issues so you need to employ a systems approach fearing looking foolish creative thinking is no has no place for conformity and new ideas are hardly born in a conforming environment people tend toward conformity why to avoid looking foolish fearing mistakes and failure is another barrier to creativity that is trying something new may lead to failure so failure should not be seen as an end rather one can uh, learn some lesson and uh, think about more you see uh, valid solution and believing that i am not creative one who believes he or she is not creative will likely behave in the same way so making that belief a reality friends as i told you that everyone has the potential to be creative so one must tap into that potential first uh there are uh, basically uh four types of blocks possessed by most individuals that inhibits creative thinking one is the psychological blocks that is a feeling of uh, insecurity that is uh, manifested in lack of confidence fear of failure of making errors or worrying about personal esteem fear of authority feeling of dependency need for conformity that is manifested in a security based on order and norms then uh, incapacity to use unconscious perception and evaluation freely that is uh, unwillingness to try anything new that is a roadblock and occupationalism that is uh, barriers related to you see job specialty or occupation and involves stereotype pattern of habit perception and so on then we have got perceptual blocks that is uh, inclu uh, that include difficulty in 
isolating the problem difficulty caused by narrowing down the problem too much uh, uh, ability uh, uh, inability i would say to define term failure to use all the sensors difficulty in seeing remote relationships and then culture blocks desire to conform to an adopted pattern worrying about culture taboos too much faith in statistics and emotional blocks that is fear of uh, uh making a mistake or making a fool of yourself rigidity of thinking eagerness and so on so components of individual creativity creativity involve expertise the creativity skill and intrinsic motion that you have to be uh, uh self motivated now let us have a look at the techniques of developing creative climate in the organization firstly before you uh, you see introduce certain change you need to develop an acceptance of change the members of the organization must believe that the change will benefit them and the organization so this belief is more likely to arise if organization members you see participate with their hod in making decision for change that will affect them so the leader of the department must explain the rationale of introducing a change once the members are convinced about the benefits of the change uh, to them and to the organization they will definitely uh, you see go for uh, uh you see uh, implementing a change as a hod or as a teacher you need to encourage uh new ideas you need to welcome new approaches so to encourage creativity the hod or the teacher must be willing to listen to the subordinate suggestions or the students suggestions so always welcome new ideas then permit more interaction a permissive climate climate is developed if individuals have the opportunity to interact with members of their own or other group groups so such interaction encourages the exchange of useful information or you can say free flow of ideas and fresh perspectives on the problems another is that tolerate failure you see many new ideas may prove impractical or useless so effective hod or teacher accept and allow for the fact that time and resources are invested in experimenting with new ideas that may not work out so they will participate in creativity only once you give them assurance that we are with you i'm at your uh, at your back another is provide uh, smart objectives and give them you see the members of the department who are given goals definitely they will be stimulated to meet them their creativity will have a purpose and direction they know and at the same time offer recognition you see creative individuals are motivated to work hard on tasks that interest them but like all individual they enjoy being rewarded for a task well done even a simple pat on back or simple you see you have done a wonderful job good please uh, continue so these kinds of remarks will help many a times many faculty members steal the credit of someone else's ideas no don't do it if your me student has uh, uh, you see is writing a paper for pu pu getting published in journal don't uh you see uh force upon him or her 
to write your name at the first instant you can you can ask him to write at the end okay and if someone has uh, you see produced a good idea take him along to the hod or the head of the organization sir this is mr so and so and he has done a wonderful job and never uh, say that i have done it i have done it tolerate conflict so diversity of opinion should be encouraged provide constructive feedback you see a climate in which there there are opportunities for feedback and tough but constructive evaluation of ways of approaching complex problems encourages creativity Con uh, constructive immediate informative feedback must be given provide learning opportunities you need to create a climate that provides opportunities to the members of your department for rigorous technical training preferably at the hands of creative tutors or that would stimulate more creativity then provide freedom with accountability for excellence you see creativity can be encouraged in a climate that provides freedom of thought freedom of action but at the same time demands responsibility accountability and effective performance since idea is to be tried out so provide facilities for experimentation so the head of the institution or the head of the department must provide reasonable physical social facilities for experimentation practice trying out innovative ideas and use of special techniques for fostering creativity and i think brainstorming nominal group process and synactics these may be employed to explore ideas now first of all brainstorming this encourages the free flow of ideas without any inhibition by prejudgment or criticism so um, for this uh, the members are assembled the leader presents the problem and then urges every member to produce as many ideas or solutions as they can without pausing to evaluate them so it is a means of getting a large number of ideas from a group of people in a very short duration so 6 to 12 people there can be one uh, person who can uh, lead the uh, brainstorming uh, you can also have one person who will be noting down all the uh, ideas put forward uh, put forth by different members now the the chairman of the brainstorming session would uh, tell them the rules that they can produce as many ideas the, uh, no evaluation will be done you should not feel hesitate to uh, speak out even a stupid idea and before coming to the exact topic you can have a warm up session so that they can be aware about the brainstorming uh, session so chairman would state the problem he would encourage the people to come out with the ideas our chairman ko ye bhi dekhna hai ki bhi that or every member is uh, uh, participating or usko ye bhi dekhna hai ki sirf ek hi vyakti to nahi bolta chala ja raha then his role is to condense and list ideas and beech uh, beech mein shabash you have done a good good uh, uh, you have uh, given a good uh, uh, idea any other idea please come on please come on so this session would stop after 30 minutes 
and evaluation will take place later at a later stage then you can select ideas for immediate use you can identify ideas for further exploration or you can review any uh, you see uh, different approaches then uh, nominal group process in this technique group members work alone but in the same room developing ideas they then share their list of ideas one at a time okay so this is uh, the nominal uh, uh, group process then uh, we have another technique called as synactics here the leader of the group plays a very important role in fact only the leader knows the specific nature of the problem this person narrows and carefully leads the discussion without revealing the problem itself the main reason for this approach is to prevent the group from reaching a premature solution to the problem so in this way quick and easy solutions are avoided and participants do not have a chance to become overly fascinated by their own ideas group discussion is then organized around a subject that is related to the problem but that doesn't reveal what the problem actually is let me give you one example for example if the problem is to produce a new toy the leader might suggest play or enjoyment as the discussion area discussion then start to focus on what kinds of new toys children would find most enjoyable to discussion jo hai wo uske charo taraf hogi now coming to what a teacher can do to uh, you see to help students develop creativity or increase students natural creativity firstly create a question friendly environment that is you can help your student develop the habit of asking why questions about anything about information about idea about beliefs then practice generating more ideas then let me see because uh, ये पावर जाने वाली है आर यू हेयर हेयर मी प्रॉपरली आर यू एबल टू हेयर मी ओके ओके so another is that practice because there is the no electricity now i am yes. talking to you from my uh, mobile phone uh another is practicing uh, practice generating more ideas you see the more ideas we come up with the greater our chances of producing a work of success encourage new skills you see in order to develop new ideas and a unique perspective so please encourage your student to learn a variety of skills and subjects the more unrelated the field the better you can teach your students the other skills they need to be creative like uh, you see uh, advocating for one's ideas compromising 
deductive reasoning active listening all these skills are uh, required for encouraging creativity you can encourage more creativity in the classroom you can lead by example and openly share your ab kabhi kabhi classroom mein jaise maan lijiye aapke paas aadha ghanta reh gaya and students are not interested in listening to you to aap apni classroom ki koi ek topic ki problem leke you can arrange a brainstorming session then you see uh, you need to set up learning activities that allow students to explore their creativity in relevant interesting and worthwhile ways uh i think another uh, technique is to reword assignments for example you can add words like create design invent imagine suppose to your assignment so by adding instruction like come up with as many solution as possible or be creative this will definitely help to increase creative performance सिर्फ आप सिर्फ वैसी असाइनमेंट देते जिसमें डिस्क्राइब करना है वो पेपर आपको बुक में से वो दे देगा देन स्टूडेंट्स को बिकॉज दे डू नॉट नो हाउ दे आर परफॉर्मिंग सो यू नीड टू प्रोवाइड फीडबैक ऑन देयर क्रिएटिविटी देन यू नीड टू यूज क्रिएटिव इंस्ट्रक्शन स्ट्रैटेजीज मैथड्स मॉडल्स model creativity for students okay then uh, you can also uh, choose a flexible classroom layout jaise hum aap is ek round table yani aamne samne wo dekh sake u shaped ho sakta hai so these are some of the techniques now i uh, keep this session open for all the participants to come out with other you see uh, techniques of uh, nurturing or creating create creative climate in the classroom or in the department so now the session is open for discussion